Jaquan Keyes made a ton of grown man runs last season. 13 rushing touchdowns, pacing the Valley despite missing the final four weeks of the regular season. Now it's on to the running back room as a whole, led by an experienced Titus McCoy. Got a lot of competitors in this group. Uh, I love this group. It's a unique group personality-wise. Uh, they all bring something different to the table, and uh, the best part about them is that they all care for each other, so they're helping each other out. You know, we, we lose a lot in not having keys this year, but just the uniqueness of this group, like I said, is just unreal. We have uh, new additions, and then what's crazy is we're all going to be back next year, too. We're not going to lose a single person. So. You know, we're just going to build and grow each, with each other, and that's what one thing, you know, as a team, you play for each other, not just yourself. McCoy had to sit out this spring due to recovering from shoulder surgery, but despite that time away, Coach Marcus Knight likes what he sees in Young Toon. One thing about Titus McCoy, he loves football, um, and, and he's been working hard. He's been biting at the bit uh, for this opportunity to get back, and he's done a great job of just going out and working every day. So I'm excited to finally see him get out on the football field and do some things, and I'm excited to go see him uh, compete this season. The experience that uh, me and Petey have gotten is something that we're going to take uh, advantage of and helps us out a lot going into this season. I just wanted to get healthy this offseason. Uh, I battled through a shoulder surgery all last year, and uh, been rehabbing it, so I'm fully healthy and I'm ready to go. As with everyone in any position, a year of experience is huge. Uh, Peterson Grand can tell go, a difference go. already this fall. I'm definitely a lot more comfortable, uh, especially getting in near the end of the last year and uh, this year getting everybody getting reps, and I just it just feels really good, real comfortable. I trust everybody, and I'm sure we'll come out and have a great year. So experience is everything. You, the game slows down, and, and until you get those live reps and get an opportunity to be in awkward situations, you can practice as much as you want, but you need those reps to be able to see it fast, be able to react to it in the proper way, and um, that's what game experience does. So. Embodying the weight room is a key aspect to improving on the field. Very few on this team as a whole embody the weight room more than Matt Sora. Uh, I think just uh, the off season with all the coaches and all the players, um, this team's great. We came together this winter and we had a great off season. Uh, starting in the winter, going into the spring, um, now going into the fall through summer and everything. So I think just in the weight room, getting bigger, faster, and stronger has really helped us all just come together this fall. He's a consistent guy. Uh, he's bringing everything he got every day and it's starting to pay off, you know. Uh, Matt has been a kid that I've been thoroughly enjoyed having in the room. He's a great personality and uh, he's a yes sir, no sir type of guy, you know. He just wants to go out and do his best. Chris Childers looks the part. Big physical back. And being behind Keys, Titus, and PD a year ago, he was able to soak up a lot of knowledge. I, and that's the biggest thing, you know, Coach Mao says next man up all the time. And us as a group, we worked really hard this off season and we're, we're coming, even after losing Jaquan, we're coming off a really solid rushing season. And we're all very confident. We have great backs in the room and we're all, whoever fits in the game plan for whatever week, for whatever week is, is gonna be the best fit for that, for that game. And we're very confident and, what we can do as a group. Nick Sims has been out for the majority of fall camp. Michael Hopper made the position switch to running back early in camp as well. But regardless of where you look, this unit isn't expecting a drop off in production. And that's the message that we give to them every day. You got to be ready when your opportunity comes up. You know, um, it's a long season um, and we're going to go out and give everything we've got. And I have full confidence in everybody we have in that room. So the young guys are, are starting to learn the, the expectation. I think that's the big part of it. And then uh, got to make sure that they're ready as far as a knowledge base if they do get an opportunity to get in there. For more on Indiana State football, stay right here at GoSickamores.com.